This is the calm before the storm, preparing for the holy light tomorrow. It's about 7 o'clock on Friday night in Jerusalem. Yesterday is the remembrance of Christ being crucified. Today is the remembrance of Christ in the tomb. So they do the lamentations here starting at 9 p.m. And it finishes about 1 a.m. The plan is tomorrow they're going to pick everyone up from certain monasteries. They organize it beforehand. Um, if you want to get in for the holy light, you need to make your way to one of those monasteries. I'm in the monastery of Santa Nagia. Uh, the plan is they will pick us up about 7.30 in the morning. Um, in previous years, they've picked us up about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then they let us down about 10.30 into the sepulchre. It takes maybe half an hour to get from the church to the sepulchre because of so many people and everyone pushing. Um, so you're normally doing about six hours on your feet. But since they're picking us up at 7.30 tomorrow morning, hopefully it's going to be a lot easier. So we'll see. That's the plan. Every year changes. Um, this year when we're trying to go to services we're finding everything blocked all the doors blocked uh, we've been going to Saint Constantine and Eleni and making our way down where the patriarch makes his way down that's that's not normal here um, I've never been blocked off every single service um, but there is a lot of people who are not orthodox in Jerusalem at the moment so maybe um, they're trying to stop people from entering the church so that we can, you know, we are free to worship. Uh, so I'll take video, a little bit of video tonight. It's going to be a late night. I'll just show you a couple of minutes. Um, and then I'll show you some video tomorrow morning. Um, hope, God willing, I make it into the holy light because there's no guarantees. So what happens. Give me in your prayers. So it's one o'clock in the morning, just finished the lamentations. Um, about to go to another liturgy. Probably get home about three or four o'clock in the morning. See what happens. I've got a ticket for the holy light, so I'm pretty excited. Should be able to get in. I'll keep you updated. I'm just walking through the old city, one o'clock in the morning still. Um, the police are starting to shut down the city. Anyone left behind is needs to either go back to the monastery or they're gonna get kicked out. I've just arrived back in Santanagia. I've taken some video. People sleeping all over the ground in the church, around the monastery, wherever they can find somewhere to sleep. What can you do? That's they're gonna come take them from the monastery tomorrow morning. So if they want to go to the Holy Light, they're going to be in a monastery that, that are going to be taken. So, you know, if they don't have a room here, or they've come here from a hotel or something, while well, they're sleeping in the courtyard, what can you do? Good on them. At least I'll get in. It'll be worth the, It'll be worth sleeping on the ground, if you ask me. I've done it before, to be honest. <laughs> This is what I'm sleeping with tonight. God willing, I get some sleep. <laughs> Good morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I think I've slept about three hours. I am so exhausted. I feel like I'm going to vomit. Uh, I'm at Santa Nagia. There's heaps and heaps of people waiting to be taken. Um, they've already taken people from other monasteries. 
this is probably one of the busiest ones so i'm surprised it didn't go first to be honest but um anyway lots of people waiting downstairs or sleeping on the roads but they'll get in and that's it so i'm walking to saint constantine Lenny. i managed to get through the police because of the tickets as you can see they blocked off the roads the road was also blocked off near the monastery uh, but they let me through because of the ticket it's like passing toll roads here okay and this is another blockage at St. Constantine and Eleni um, but thank god I've got the ticket so it's all good It's already packed at St. Constantine and Eleni. I'm going to go inside the church, enjoy the church service. And people have already started to line up. And this is nothing to be honest. It'll get way worse later. So all these people lined up close to me, they're not going to get in through this way. They need to go around and line up with the big crowd. But they haven't figured that out yet. And we have the first casualty. First casualty of the day. Actually, it might not be the first, but I've only just seen this one. So I made it into the main church, the sepulchre. Um, I've got a VIP pass, but the police are not letting me through still. Uh, I don't think they're going to let us through, even if no matter what pass we have. Uh, apparently, there were some problems and. Um, I thought I didn't want anyone through. That's why I said, even if you have a ticket, um, it, nothing is guaranteed here. So we're attempting still, but it's not happening. But it's still a big privilege to be in the sepulchre. I, I'd be happy if I just stayed here. I don't mind. The video. So I made it on the corner here by miracle. Um, we ran into the bishop of the sepulchre and he let us in. Otherwise, we had no chance. It is.
I want to thank you for watching the video. I apologize for the really amateur video. I didn't have a gimbal on me. Um, I didn't have a proper tripod. Uh, when you go to the holy light, you need to carry as little as possible. You're on your feet for hours and hours, maybe 10 hours. Uh, the less you carry, the better. And you don't need all that stuff anyway. This year was very, very hard. Um, the police were blocking off places that they shouldn't have blocked off. Um, I had a ticket that allowed me to get anywhere. Um, I was able to get through the first barricade only at 7.30 in the morning. Um, after that, didn't get me into anything. Um, it should have got me into the sepulchre. I should have been able to roam around the sepulchre wherever I wanted. Um, couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. Um, we ran into a bishop who let us in. Um, that's the only reason why we got in. If you want to increase your chances of getting into the holy light, you need to go to one of the appointed monasteries. If you don't do that, um, you have very little to no chance of getting in. Even then, it's not a guarantee. Um, they were meant to come past Santa Nagya at 7.30 in the morning. By the time they came here, it was 8.30 in the morning. Um, people were pushing. Uh, this is one of the busiest monasteries, so... I don't know why they came so late. By the time the people got up to Saints Constantine and Eleni, because that's the only way you can get in, through the, the Patriarch's Church, um, by the time they got there, uh, there was already a huge crowd. So they, you know, they just went in very, very late if they got in. So there's a whole heap of people who didn't get in. The holy light comes out about 2.30, and I know people who only just made it in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Like I said, there's no guarantees. You just try whatever you can. Um, some pointers, pack very lightly, like I said. Um, take a chair for waiting in line. Once you get to the barricades to get into the sepulchre, they're going to throw out your chair, okay? That's just the way it is. Um, at least you have something to sit on for the first six or seven hours. For the rest of the time, you're on your feet. Um, take, take a, you know, one or two bottles of water, uh, but only drink if you have to because once you're in um, it's very hard to get to a toilet because the crowds are so thick that you just can't get through. There are toilets there you just, but you can't get to them. So only drink if you have to. Um, probably one of the biggest things I want to say is uh, don't worry if you don't get in. Uh, there's been two times I haven't gotten in and I think out of five times that I've been here for the Holy Light um, one year they didn't let anyone in, like if the whole place was empty. Uh, you know, the Orthodox Church has the faith, the true faith. We have all the mysteries. We have Holy Communion anywhere in the world, everywhere in the world. Um, you don't need to come to Jerusalem. You don't need to see the Holy Light. If you're here at that time, great. Um, but, you know, if you come and you don't get in, it's not the end of the world. Anyway... Um, hopefully if you're coming to Jerusalem and you are trying to get into the holy light this video will help you along the way um, I apologize for my voice I did get sick from the holy light there was a, um, a flu going around and I'm one of the ones that caught it 
Uh, so carry some medication with you too from wherever you come from because uh, you'll probably need it. Uh, anyway, um, Christ is risen, Christos Anesti, and Happy Easter.